Hey, Iostax here. Overwatch is a really, really great game, and obviously you wouldn't watch this video if you hadn't thought the same. However, there are some wanted features that the community really wants and that I really, really want. First up, Team Ranked. This would entail you being able to register a team under a certain name, so that you would be able to queue as a 6 deck against other 6 decks. This should have a different rating than your main rating, and I think this would promote team play. Also, this would give no disadvantage for smaller groups, and it would actually keep 6 decks out of competitive, which would be great for solo queues. Next up, a guild or clan system. This puts players into a group, and maybe they could have in-game announcements. Maybe they could add clan tags to bring communities together, like for instance a community out of Torbjorn mains, or players wanting to get better. Also, they could potentially add group achievements, like they have in other Blizzard titles, like wow, that could be pretty interesting. And in my opinion, this would only promote social play, and that's always something a game could need. Now, this one is kind of con controversial, but I think they should think about adding solo queue. This would basically mean that you could only queue by yourself, and your rank would be based on your own skill. This could help with rank boosting, because right now you can boost with smurfs to get free elo. And also you could play with friends without being afraid of losing your hard-earned rank on solo queue. Now, this again is very controversial, some love it and some despise it, but I think it would be worth at least trying. Next up, I think it would be great if they could nerf win streaks. Again, this is kind of controversial, but in my opinion, the current win streak system is flawed. Win streaks right now can push players into ranks that will frustrate them, because if they get on a lucky big win streak, or maybe they have a really good day and get into a high rating, then on the next day they will realize they simply can't perform at that level, which only leads to frustration. I think it's actually viable to drop games on purpose right now, so that you could stomp lower rated games and use that momentum to climb to a higher rating. Just have a look at this. For this one I would like you to have a look at this spreadsheet that I made on my smurf account. Over here on the left you can see all the matches that I played. And at this point I wasn't really master, I was like mid diamond. But as you can see I got insanely big win streaks, right? Like over here I got a 6 game win streak and I got like 58 SR for one game. Over here I started my win streak and I actually got 108 SR at for one game. So I basically jumped from 3.1k, 3.2k, 3.3k, 3.4k, 3.5k. And it could have gone on if I would have won this game and that is absolutely insane. Next up, more competitive rewards. Right now you gain competitive points for winning in ranked, however the only thing you can get right now from that is a golden gun. And they can be grinded, right? There are no real representation of skill, only the amount you have. Other games have borders or skins or other rewards, whereas Overwatch only has golden guns. The only skill based ranked rewards at the moment is the top 500 spray and icon, and that is very exclusive. I actually made an example in Photoshop real quick. For instance, we could have competitive borders. Now, we obviously would have to think about what would happen to the current borders, but I think this would look really, really cool and be a nice incentivization for players to climb to a higher rank, because in my opinion, the higher ranked ones would look really cool. Next up, in-game tournament ads. So basically showing the current tournaments that's going on or maybe a tournament schedule inside of the game. This would promote competitive play and also create storylines inside of the competitive scene for every player to watch. Also this would lead to a bigger viewership, which would only grow the scene. And other games do this as well. Right here we can see an example that I did. I basically took the Gozo Gamers match ticker and a Twitch screenshot and put it on the main menu. And now obviously this covers quite a bit of the main menu, however this way players would be directly confronted with esports, for instance like they do in Rocket League or League of Legends. And I think this would be a great addition to make esports more popular under the casual community. Another wanted feature is in-game tournament support. Like, I think StarCraft actually has it. Where players can host custom games with a tournament format and it generates a bracket and multiple teams can enter. Now, this would promote community-made tournaments, which I think is really good for the competitive scene. And I'm not sure, but I don't think it's that hard to implement. But then again, I'm not a Blizzard employee. I think Blizzard should really start to get people hyped for esports and this would be a great addition to that. Again, this is kind of controversial, but I think a scoreboard would also be really good for the game. I personally like to see exactly how well I perform. They could potentially show it only after the game is over or in a potential match history. 
so that it would lead to less toxicity because obviously a scoreboard in game would lead to team shaming. Now the current medal system is nice but I don't think it's very great for comparison. I sometimes like to ask myself how well am I doing right now compared to people at my rank and without a proper scoreboard that is impossible. Here we can see a draft made by someone on reddit on what a potential match history could look like and I really like this design and I think it would fit the game well. Next up, and this one is kind of important, a match history because right now we have to track our matches via a google docs which is very shabby. I would like to see my SR change what maps I played and what heroes I played in an integrated match history. And other games have this feature as well, so I think Overwatch should have it too. Here we can see a Reddit user made match history by Pray for Mercy. And I really like this design, it's actually very well made and it fits the Overwatch theme. And I think it could be implemented easily. We also have crosshair customization. Now, this was suggested by Crispy on the iOS Ducks Discord. Right now, crosshair customization is very limited, as you may know. And for instance, CSGO offers extremely customizable crosshairs, as you can see in the background from Cress's crosshair generator map. Now, this obviously isn't the highest priority, but I think this is definitely a good and wanted feature for a competitive shooter. This is another suggestion by a Discord user, at Lawman, and he suggests that we should have some practice range improvements. For instance, we should be able to change the pathing of the bots, because they aren't very good for learning and they move very predictably. Also, maybe we should be able to change the hitboxes to that of certain characters, because right now their hitboxes are huge. And maybe we should give them the ability to fly, so that we could practice our shooting against a pharaoh, for example, especially with projectiles. Next up, how about some better spectator features? Right now, spectating competitive Overwatch can be a clusterfuck. The low bitrate streams don't really work for the game as well, since it's so fast-paced. For instance, we don't have any health bar over player characters, like in League. So watching a Tracer vs Tracer duel, for instance, isn't very exciting because we can't see their HP over their heads. Maybe they could also add a small minimap, like not in the actual game, but only while spectating, to watch for respawns and trickling. And I think this would help the con scene grow and make the game more watchable. Now the next one is kind of obvious and also mentioned by AdSonaris on Discord. And it's the replay system. Basically being able to save games after they are over. Uh, is a kind of mandatory feature in my opinion for a competitive game and other competitive games have it too even League of Legends got it recently I think this allows for easier VOD reviewing and you should be able to watch the game from multiple perspectives also if they record pro games you could watch them in retrospect and analyze them also you can share replays with others this would make VOD reviewing by uh, better players actually a lot more viable alright that does it for this video if you have any ideas for potential new features in Overwatch, just feel free to share them in the comments or on the Discord server. The link is again in the description. I'd like to thank you for learning. <laughs>